Hello everyone, welcome back to Skilling Minds. I am Preeti and today we are here with another hands-on session. Before we begin, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe with bell notification so that you are the first one to receive our videos. And today we present to you how to create Pareto in Tableau. The goal of the Pareto chart is to highlight the importance of a variety of parameters allowing you to identify and focus your efforts on the factors with the biggest impact on a specific part of a process or system. So let's begin with our hands-on session right away. Welcome to Skilling Minds, where we impart skill knowledge with easy to understand presentations and hands-on sessions. So whether you're a student or a corporate professional or a homemaker or an entrepreneur, adding skills helps you to increase productivity and attain proficiency. Most people delay adding new skills either due to lack of time or resources. But here at Skilling Minds, we will enable you to learn new skills at your own pace that can help you to stay ahead in today's competitive world. So let's jump straight away into today's topic and add a new skill to our portfolio with Skilling Minds. Welcome to the hands-on session on how to create Pareto in Tableau. Before we start building up our Pareto. Let's look at already created Pareto and try to copy it and create one of our own. As we understand, Pareto is one of the seven basic tools of quality, which help us in problem solving. And it follows the 80-20 principle, which means most of the effect is done by least of the population. So let's look at this example here of uh, car claims insurance data. Uh, in this, we see different car types represented in bars. And the length of the bar represents the total amount of claim made in that particular segment or the car type. So if this is the longest bar here, uh, this is for SUV, which has you know the most claim amount, then followed by you know pickup minivan and so on. The trend line that we see here, the orange color line, gives us the percentage total running of the claim amount. It starts with, you know, the first car type, let's say it's uh, SUV here with uh, around, you know, 32% of the total claim amount coming from the segment up till 100%. And it covers, you know, all the car types that we have. Now let's start building up our own Pareto. To start with our Pareto, we will require, uh, let's say we pull out the claims amount and uh, put it on the rows. Also we take the card types and we put it on the columns. So immediately we get a bar graph representing uh, different type of card types vis-a-vis -vis the total claim amount shown in each category. Now we would like to, you know, sort this out to have a better view of understanding uh, from the perspective of uh, how it goes uh, from, you know, the tallest to the smallest. So the current view that you're looking at is, is ascending. Let's, you know, kind of change it to descending and close this here. So now we can see that, you know, uh, SUV uh, has the highest claims followed by you know the pickup truck uh, the minivan sports van and the panel truck this is how it is you know showing to us in a descending order of the total amount of claim made in each card type now this is the first graph that we have now remember we also need to you know put another graph where we can see a trend in the form of a line so to do that, 
we can either uh, pull it up from here or let's do one thing more let's let's bring it up uh, you know another claim amount and put mix to it once we do that we see two bars graphs here and both are in the same format now let's do some changes second bar graph that we have you know we select the type of the graph here and from bar we let's change it to line actually i think we did it for both we just need to do for one so we kind of come back uh, the first one will turn it back to bar and the second one is for line so now we see we have two different graphs representing the same data set so now starts the interesting part remember that our line should look something like this which is actual a true representation of the uh, running total percentages of the total claim amount so to be able to you know transform this we need to go back to our sum of claim amounts and if you see this uh, drop down icon here just click on that once you do that another menu shelf opens up in that uh, you need to select something called as edit table calculations once you do that we are currently looking at the percentage of total you need to change that to running total because that is what we want to represent now as soon as we click on the running total we see our line graph changes uh, and it starts you know representing the total running sum of the claimed amount for each and every card type with that perspective also what we need to do is we need to add a secondary calculation and in the secondary calculation we need to select percentage of total which is actually going to now tell us the total percentage of effect or of you know the total claim amount that particular car type has so as an example we see that car type suv has 32 percentage of total claims of the total claims made we move up we look at the car type pickup and we see that you know another around uh, 19 percentages are added and the total sum comes up to 51 percent so if you see suv is at 32 percent and pickup is at 51 percent and that's how it gets cumulative and it gets added up till the way it represents 100 percent so now we have our bar graph ready we have our line graph ready now how do we merge both these charts into one so that we can represent our Pareto all we need to do we need to go back to this sum of claim amount here click on the icon open up the extra menu sheet and from there you look at this dual axis you just need to click on that and now both the charts have been merged together and what we look at is the current view of our Pareto. Now what we can do is we can do some coloring here so that we represent it a little better uh, for the line graph let's say we go here we go to edit colors uh, and let's choose something which is a different color uh, orange in this case and you know it kind of that represents the trend line in orange color and rest of the bar graphs as usual are there in the blue color and when you hover your mouse you can clearly see that SUV and pickup truck together are accumulating most of the claims that we have in the total claims data in uh, other words uh, SUV with 32% uh, 
and uh, pick up around 19% adds up to you know total about 51% of the total claims made are between these two car types so that you know half of the claims made are for SUV and pickup and rest 50% is distributed amongst the other four car types so by Pareto it's clearly evident that two car types the first two car types at least you know half of the claims are coming in these two segments of car types here so this is how Pareto has been made to help us to look at data better and understand where the most effort is there with the least population set in this case around 51% of the claims are coming only from SUV and pickup with this I conclude today's hands-on session on how to create Pareto thanks if you like this video then please go ahead and give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe Skilling Minds. Leave us a comment on which skill video would you like to watch next. Also press the bell notification button so that you are informed as soon as we upload a new skill video. Till then take care and bye.